This episode of Water Horse, we yes, got sir. three more episodes. Mm -hmm. Yon Yon, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, let's sit here and do whatever you want to. And then you can tell yourself to do what I'm thinking. To say. <laughs> Go ahead and do your thing. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All right. Well, we had a lot of uh, different awards given out this month, so yep. we're, we're going to be talking about them today. But before, before we do, I am going to go into uh, and it's just a little gripe in here, and I'm probably going to make some people mad. But we've got rules and regulations that have been set down that we're about to enter into a battle to keep our pads an action device. And at the same time, we have rules that if they were followed, I don't believe we'd be in the situation we're in today. Yes. I really don't. There, there's outlines in the rules and regulations for show, which stands for sound horses, honest judging, objective inspections, and winning fairly. And the objective inspections, I believe we have 100%. Yes. Until the government shows up. And once they show up, it just, you don't know what's going to happen because you don't know what pressure they're going to put on the DQPs to write violations, whether real or false. But there's other things that we can do about when horses come into the ring that they're deviating from the gate, 
There's rules about that. They're supposed to be sent out. Labor way of going, out, unlevel or hitching. Stumbles or spins chains. Pacing, trotting or racking. Not performing the proper gait, period. Flipping or crossing, winging. Reluctance to move forward. And here's my favorite one. No head shake, head dipping, unlevel head shake. I hate this. I mean, it's just, that's not, that's not, it's supposed to be, you know, yeah. you're supposed to be mm -hmm. timed up. You're supposed to have the four beats. It's just, uh, these are things that if everybody would follow the rules, I believe we'd be a whole lot better off. Yes. I really do. And it's kind of like these rules are, what was it? There's a song that says, what, what, what is it? You, you know the song I'm talking about that it's, talks about <clears throat> these rules are for. It's fine when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it. Yeah. Fine mm -hmm. when they do it, problem when I do it. Mm -hmm. This is something we all need to look at and address because once we go into this battle with the USDA and the court of law, it's going to come back. And we yeah. got to remember, there's a lot of live streaming going That's right. Mm -hmm. Even if the government's not there, they're watching. So when that horse comes in the gate, if he ain't right, he needs to be turned around and sent back out. And that's something that our judges are not doing. Yes. So that, that's just another complaint on the judges. And I know everybody, they're always griping about it. But there are certain things that can be done, and I know that it puts the judge in a bad situation. It really does. That's why I, that needs to be addressed at the same time we're in a court, in my opinion. Now, I mean, this is me talking, but I love this horse, and I love to watch it. But rules are rules, and if your horse spins a chain, I mean, I can see letting it do it once and say, well, let's watch him. Second time, out. Yeah. If he's hitching, he needs to go out. If he's way on level, he needs to go out because people that are watching, they see it, and that's used against us, whereas if we only followed our rules, then they would know that, hey, they got rules and regulations. If you break them, you're, you're, you're out. out. Yeah, you're exactly and, right and about it. it. It's just the way it is. And that's what, that's my gripe. And, well, that's one of the reasons that I'm getting ready to step down and let someone else do it. Because it's kind of hard to defend something when you know that it's, it's not right. And that's why people ask me why I don't put more horses on the show. I'll give you a good reason. The people that I ask to advertise, and I thank them, but I watch them show. I do not want to put an unlevel horse out. I do not want to put something out that makes this industry look bad. Yeah. And I've always tried, and, and CJ's tried, to make sure <coughs> we edit out anything that didn't look good. So once I get enough to have a show, that's it. So what I'm saying is the people that I asked to do ads, you can bet money I believe in your horse. Yes. And I want to thank each of you that have advertised with us through the years because I truly appreciate it. But even when I've got girls working during celebration, they got a list of people not to ask. Yeah. And I mean, it's just because I see the horses and I know. So that's it. But there's one young lady that I can tell y'all, she got an award that I can just, I mean, I, it can be justified because this young lady in Super Bowl MVP, they show, they go out, and you're always gonna see them in the top of the line because they are playing out good, head shaking, and this is, this is what I'm talking about. When you see this, you see a Tennessee walking horse. That's right, that's a nice horse. That it horse really been is. Good, been good for a long time. Can get it done. Yep. She sits up, the horse is in rhythm. 
It's a real nice horse overall. Well, you, you can watch the head shaking. It's in time with his, his motion. Yes. He's smooth. He's not hitching. That's why I love running victory passes on this horse. Or any type of ad, reserve ad, or just plain put him out there and let people know how good he looks. Well, that's letting people know how good the, these horses are and his, you know, these walking horses are, you know. I mean, you put bad videos out there, people is not going to want to watch it. Well, to me, we've got the greatest horse in the world. Yes. And we've got the ability to show that horse to people outside this industry. And we need to show the best there is and let them see it. And hopefully, some of them will say, hey, I want this. But B.B. Yeah. Beasley and MVP, hey, they are the Super Bowl oh, yeah. in my book. Mm -hmm. All right. What else we got? We got a, this is the Paturity champion for this year, Show Pleasure champion, three and under. And this is one that you work, and I want to thank you, because yeah. you, you're right. The more you ride that horse, the better he gets. Yes, yeah. You told me that when he was two. You told me that. You said that he would get better as time went on. That's and, and, and basically, he is. Yeah, some horses just take a little, little, little longer, you know, but they get better and better. That's why you just can't give up on them too quick. Well, he's got, his rear end is good. His yes. back end gets in there. And each time that we that I go out and we video, now CJ did this video, he gets better and better. And he's got two more years in that show yes. pleasure class. So some people, and he's timed up, good head shake, he's getting it all done. And this is what it's about. And you know, especially in that show pleasure class, to yep. me, you're supposed to have a horse supposed to be a pleasure to ride and that's right. easy and gliding along. Well, I can tell you, I enjoyed watching him the other day because he's got that overstride, he's got the reach, and he, he's just a good horse. To me, he would be outstanding for an amateur in the yeah. show pleasure amateur class. And he's still a stud, but he's a, he's a big thing, too. He's, what, 16 two? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a big uh, horse. He's a general there. giant. The general giant? Yep. He, he is a big, he is a big baby now. Yep. That, that I'm going to say, he's just gentle as a lamb. All right, uh, everybody each year, they, they have the Reader's Choice Awards, and, and different ones do this. I know they had awards over at the... Breeders, I'm sure that the scoop has theirs and the report has theirs. But uh, I was watching some of them, and I just wanted to put some out and let people see some of the horses. And these are the ones that I really like. Now, yeah. I, I love these choices because they're, they're good choices. This one right here, I be smoking Joe. I'm going to tell you what I love about this horse. He's all day pleasure. Joe was one on him. The boys, both Tanner and Tucker, have won on him. And they've won world championships, world grand championships. But this this is a horse that uh this is Susie Johnson's yeah. son and grandson. So she just she really gets into it. But now they were readers' choice. All day pleasure horse. Yeah. It's heck when you have to go ask your boys if you can ride a horse. Y'all let me ride that just once. <laughs> There's Tanner. Yep. That horse has won a whole bunch of blue ribbons now. Now here's another. Red Alert and Dan Waddell. Kim Lewis's horse. Now, Dan has won on this horse. Kim has won on this horse. And I, I love him. I think yeah. he is he has come a long ways from when the first time 
Dan showed him, you could tell that he had it. There, there's Kim. I believe the first time he showed was the show that you put on. Yeah, it was. And that's the first time he, and that horse had talent in, had a lot of talent in. You could, you could tell it. I mean, he was good. Right there, Kim did great down in War Trace on it. Kim also got Sportsman of the Year. Right here, honor and remember in Dan Waddell. I'll tell you That's what. a nice horse, too. Kim and George have some good horses. Oh, yeah. Now they do. And Kim understands the horses. So yeah. He, she referred to honor and remember when he was four years old. She said, you know, he felt like a teenager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to have problems. <laughs> and I, I guess that's about the best way to yeah. put it. And right here, Mayor Bill. And if you notice, all these horses got a good head shake, they've got a stride, they're in motion, yeah. they're not hitching in the back end, they're just getting it done. Right here, I am Mighty Jose. He, he's another one. Yep. Good head shake. Moving on. Getting her done. Everybody likes a good horse. Everybody likes, and I know Shane was tickled with them awards. Because those are good things. Oh, yeah. Especially when the readers. Oh yeah, you're our, right. Our problem open, if they had the <coughs> best show, we'd get one vote and that's our gallery. <laughs> yeah, she, you're she, right. She likes to watch us do her show. Well, I'll tell you, uh, what else we got? You got to do your thing again, then we're going to do some other. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you 
money on your communications. All right, welcome back. We did a thing last week, and uh, I had some people text me and call me that they really enjoyed watching these horses because they wasn't the first place horses. They were yeah. horses that made great shows so, yeah. that did not get, you know, win the first place. They got second, third. We're going to show some more of those this week because uh, the fall finale in Tunica was no different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was horses down there that made outstanding shows that got third and fourth place. So uh, let's go ahead and start with that. We're going to start it off with an amateur Baron gilding glass. Now, it was, it was won by Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald, which was a good tie. Yeah. Because that's a good horse, buddy. But a neon cowboy was reserved, wager, third, and out of line Ritz with Jack Heffington was fourth. That horse made a great show. He made a good show. Matter of fact, you commented on the show he made. Yeah. It's high maintenance and Donald Turner was fifth. Touchline, Carol Shelton, sixth. The Phenon, Shirley Vandergriff, and he's a war horse. Chrissy Fulcher finished out the ribbons. But I thought Jack Heffington and out of line Ritz made a great show. I thought he made a real good show. And I talked to Jack about it. Jack said, well, said you can't fault him for tying up tight Jose. Yeah. But I think he kind of felt like he should have got a little bit better ribbon, ribbon than mm -hmm. I do too. Because he did make a great show. Horse looked good. You pick Jack out on a horse. Oh yeah, the he way can. he sits. He, he got that chin, chin tucked. <laughs> He's got that chin tucked like the horse took his head and go to it. Well, now Jack been riding a lot. Oh, I know. A pretty good while, and he's got a lot of experience on riding horses oh, yes, and showing horses. And can ride a horse real well. Yes, he can. I'll tell you what, though. That, I don't know what they were spraying down there, but there were several people come back wouldn't do me, including me. Yeah, me too. There's something that really, really bugs you down there. And that's the second year in a row. Yeah. Now I can remember before, you know, so I don't know whether they changed what they're spraying or what. Bruce McDonald sets a good horse. Oh yeah, Bruce does, does a good job. He does a good job. Real good job. Right there's Jack and yeah. out of line Ritz. I thought he made an excellent show. Timed up good, walking, getting it done. Yeah, he did make a good show. Boy, that's an ugly ribbon girl. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say that. <laughs> All right, now this one was the show pleasure class. He's prime time and Lake Weaver made a great show. Well-armed American Edgar Abernathy was third. Walking chick, Mickey McCormick. One nine, Bobby Bradley. Ringmaster, Jamie Lawrence. And she's the Black Widow. Kenan Reynolds finished out the ribbon. That prime time in Lake Weaver? Yeah. So they made a good show down there. Lake is uh, making a real good job. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he really is. Good job. He is making a lot of good shows.
But now, when you riding a horse like that prime time, that horse there is a real nice horse, and he's been oh, nice. Oh, he been yeah. a good horse for, for a good for time. For a while. For a while. Everybody that shows that horse, I think they showed that horse three times down there at that horse show. I think he showed every night. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, when you got a real good one, yeah. you know, uh, they used to do that with Sandman. Sandman, if, if they opened the gates, he, he was ready to go. And he showed a lot of times. I think he showed the open, the amateur, and the juvenile. Yep. They showed him quite a bit. Yes. But the way I look at it, you got a good horse. You can do go it. For it. That's right. I tell you what, I've been hearing a lot of good things. Here he is, prime time. He sets up in that bridle and gets it done. Good show. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I've been hearing a lot of good things about a lot of deal horses. Yeah. That they say a lot of people start looking at them real hard. I heard that there was a trainer down in Mississippi that was, had one that was real good. Here's your two-year-old stallions. Powerbomb won this class with Lake Weaver. But I am that I am, Sam Barton. They made a yeah. good show, buddy. Bar none, they made a good show. German Eye was third. Knox Blackman. He's Mr. Big Stuff, Tanner Burks. I am the one. Bobby Bradley, Jamming in Memphis, John Puckett, and Jose Shining Star, Link Webb, finished out the ribbons. Good way to end the year, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Poor Sam, and he, he's coming into his own. Oh, too. he is. He's doing a real good job. that I am, and Sam Martin. That horse is gonna get better and better. Mm -hmm. You can kind of look at a horse and tell that he got more potential that goes on the older he get, or you got some of them that's, what you see is what you get. Right. Well, this one right here, I can But you can, you can look through and see that that horse got a lot more. The older he get, the better he gonna get. I believe so, too. Mm -hmm. Jimmy knew what he was doing when he when he got Sam. Yeah. Part performance amateur. Knock'em Ted won this class. But I'm gonna tell you the pinch hitter in Joyce Watson. Great show. 90 yards, Jay Mitchell was third. Lions Ritzy Lady, Kelsey Wright. Jose's Desperada, Jim Roberts. All rise, Troy Eppinger and plea bargain. Ashley Search finished out the ribbon. I'm gonna tell you that uh, Jose Desperado, Jim Robert, that was yeah. a good horse. There's a lot of good ones in there. Oh, it is. There, Jim. I got named the pinch hitter. Mm-hmm. like to see this, you know, and kind of see the horses going and 
and some of the horses that got second and third, like you say, they could have won the class. You know, yeah. it is all opinions. The pinch hitter. Now look at that horse. Yeah. She made a good show on that horse. We picked nice some, we yeah. pick some good. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that again next week, because we, there's a bunch of these that we can show that I think that uh, people would like to see. All right, now we went to uh, dinner. They had some pretty good food. They did. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I'm going to tell everybody: Tony Edwards can cook. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, he put on he put on a spread. But we've got an interview right now with Dr. Bennett. He says he's getting ready to retire, but uh, I kind of wonder how, you know. I think he's going to be hard for him to do it. I may come in, you know, once yeah. every now and then. I, may, I know how that works. <laughs> All right, let's go to Dr. Bennett interview. We are here with Dr. Bennett, who is uh, having his annual Christmas party. And if you can see, everybody behind us is getting to eat. Yeah, well, we, we sit need to here talk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Maybe they'll save us a plate. You, you I'd say with Tony cooking, we'll have plenty left over back well, there. Doc, how, how many years have you been doing veterinary here in Shelbyville? We moved down here in December of 99 to Murfreesboro and worked for Darwin Ort on Lytle Creek. With Sylvester and Mike Thomas and Darwin Ort and that oh. crew. Ever. So, uh, what's that, 24 years ago? And then mm -hmm. I had a practice in Kentucky, a couple practices in Kentucky for 20 years before I moved down here. So, 44 years of active practice, and then I was a student resident my last two years of med school. Uh, so, 46 years of total practice. And you're thinking about retiring? And yeah, yes, I am. Yeah, I've, uh, I still enjoy it. I still love the people, and it's just. Uh, Everything added together, it's just seemed like the good Lord saying it's time to slow down some more and well, enjoy life. And you know, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm fixing to break your heart. It don't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got some, I got some things that we, wife and I, Dicky, have got some uh, grandkids now, and uh, got us a farm and cattle and trail rides. And, I got them grandkids too, but I tried retiring three times, yeah. and uh, it don't yeah. work. I well, always end up going back and doing something. That, I understand. Well, maybe if it doesn't work, I'll come back and get in the radio and TV well, business well, like you. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get out of that now. Matter oh, okay. of fact, I am fixing to quit hosting Water Horse at the end of December. Well, you've done a great job mm -hmm. of that program. Well, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, you've, you've been a but, strong advocate for the walking but, horse. Well, and, Horses, General. One thing you, you learn doing this job, it doesn't matter if it's a walking horse, quarter horse, saddle bread, trail ride, whatever. Whether it costs 500 or 500,000, horse people are horse people, and they love seeing different horses and interacting with each other. It's it's truly amazing. It's uh, the that's horse the community is. is. That's where the fun is. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I started out on a spotted pony racing cars up yep, and down the highway yep. on 231. I think we all got had little ponies in our past, so, yep, yep, sure did, sure well, did. Of course, I grew up on a dairy farm, and my <laughs> grandfather had saddle bread, so I feel like all I've ever done is work, and so. Well, you've had a little bit of all of them then, haven't you? I have, yes. Well, yes. I know I've, I've really enjoyed doing the videos with you. Well, I appreciate that. Because that, that, we get a lot of comments on those. Oh, good. And that, that, good that's comments? A good, yeah, okay. I mean, those are, no, they are, those are good things. They, people appreciate seeing the horses, and they, especially when you start checking them and everything. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know, get people in Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But, well, how, and, much long, how much longer are you going to work? Until uh, the end of December, and then um, Dr. Mendenhall or I are going to maybe work out a deal where I come back and do a few surgeries and 
some odds and ends like that, maybe once a month or something. But I won that five dollars because I said I said I bet you he still tinkers. <laughs> <laughs> tinkers probably a good word. I said maybe what I do now. Yeah. But yeah. Now you you got a lot of good help too. We yeah, have, have been. We've been well blessed with great people to work for, and and I want to publicly thank everybody for their support, for their uh, for their confidence, uh, for the opportunity to work on their animals. I've I've been very fortunate to work on some great great animals in my career um, and, and it's an opportunity I didn't take lightly and I've tried to do the best I can and, um, well, well, you've always done good uh, with me and I've, I'm gonna tell you I've, been, I've always been satisfied that's the well, main thing well thank you thank you but I want to tell yeah. I want to thank you for having this tonight I want to thank you for taking time well, to talk to us no I appreciate you being and, here and, and tell uh, everybody bye and all there this, you go we, yeah. we might not get any more videos no though. we'll come back yeah we well, if I come in to tinker why don't well, we put a I'll, video I'll together? Call, I'll call you while you're tinkering. And we'll now, are you going to still be tinkering? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tinker. Okay. I don't, whoever, whoever <laughs> starts doing it, I'm just not going to do the shows and all okay. that. I don't want to do the hosting. I want Jerry to find him a partner. All right. That, but you got to watch yeah. Jerry because it's hard to get him to say anything. I know, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. Well, now, Jerry's going to be hard to replace because what he says is... Uh, We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be hard to replace, you know? We'll Come find on. somebody to say now, we'll be right back, and we'll find somebody that's to get, right. that's get right. that. <laughs> now, a lot of the audience probably won't remember this, but now, years ago on TV, Johnny Carson had a man like yeah. that, you know. That he had back. Here's Johnny. Here's Johnny, yeah. Or we'll be right back. So you had a man like that, too. But he's got a nickname, too. Jerry does. Can you put it on the air? Yes, okay. the love doctor. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Smith called it. <laughs> That's uh, Kenny Smith's name. Watch yeah. him. He's smiling from here to here. You better watch him. That chicken will get all over That's you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. He's got a great place going down there. Oh, yes, he does. At yeah. Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest, that's, they, that's a great place. He's yeah. got some great horses. We're doing a video out there tomorrow. The yeah, yeah. He's I got a chance to go down there and tour that facility and uh, remembering what it looked like when Billy Gray had it. And oh, then, yeah. Uh, then uh, when we had the studs there and the breeding farm with Bob Kilgore and, and the how they've dialed it up and man it's just man, it, gorgeous it, it, it's a show it, place it's an outstanding place I'm, I'm, and i'm so glad they kept the theme of yes. the farm it's uh, i'm tickled i got my horses there yeah. jerry does yeah. jerry does a good job i'm yeah. gonna say that i'll pat him on the back for that yeah well, anybody that close to that good of bourbon has got to be good i don't know whether he gets hold of that bourbon or not they, <laughs> they, they may keep him away from that <laughs> well madam john's got a perk he's got to have one there but, yeah. You know, I, 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 there again, I just want to thank everybody, regardless of what kind of horse they have and who's listening, who's watching, uh, and from the bottom of my heart, and I appreciate everything and everybody. And there again, I, I tried my best, and it's, uh, it's a you did tough good. decision. You did and, good. Uh, it's time, and uh, you know, uh, there's, there, if I started naming names, we'd be here all night, and I'd leave people out. But uh, and you know, the Grider, you didn't say nothing about me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the Grider family in Kentucky, man, they just they helped me early on in my career. And then I moved down here, and the Howard family took me in. And, I mean, you know, you can just go on and on and on. And there again, I, if I start naming names, I leave somebody mm -hmm. out. But we I don't, don't want to do that, but those folks. I don't I want mean, you to get in the doghouse. No, you, you're on your way out. We don't want someone uh, chasing you. That's right. No, I, I can get myself in the doghouse pretty easy. Buddy. That's it. Yep. So, well, but I thank you for everything. And seriously, if I know I'm coming to town, I'll give you a call. and Do that. We'll put yeah, it we'll together because I enjoy that. And I love uh, what a little knowledge I got showing hey, it hey, you, to you, uh, you've people. You've done a great and, job. A lot of people enjoy them videos. Well, I appreciate that. And well, I appreciate you taking the time tonight. Merry Christmas to y'all. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to, to everybody, and thanks again. Thank you. I'll I, I tell you what, <laughs> he ain't going to work. <laughs> no. he, he, he'll end up. I'll tell you, he's a, a good person now. He, he, is. he is. He's a good vet. Oh, he, he is, he he's is. been good to me. He loves what he does. And, and he will tell you straight up what's wrong with we'll your talk, you. Exactly That's what right. I really like mm -hmm. about him. All right, I guess it's time for you to do your thing again. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. Days are made, even at 10 at night. 
Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Minor Ordeal, a major win here in the two-year-old division, our World Grand Champion. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal. 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So, if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. Okay. I have told everybody about the way that you do this. Mm -hmm. So, people said, ah. So we decided that we was going to do to, to a video. This is the first time this wingling. Yes. He's a big wingling, too. Has ever had a halter on? Has ever been? You run him into the stall. I know that yes. when you bring him in for, through the, the runs. But uh, it's, just, it's just, this is good information. So I suggest everybody just... Kick back, grab your popcorn and a cold drink, and watch because this is uh, this will teach you some of uh, Jerry Williams stuff. Yeah, this is the way I do it. You said that several times. Yeah. Now this is the way I do it. It might not be the way, but this is the way it works for me. Yeah. So, let's go to the video of first time handling a a year of wingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are here today. Gonna catch this. Wingling for the first time, he ain't never been caught. We kind of fixed up a little panel right here so it won't be so much so hard to catch and wrestle with him or whatever and try to take our time and, and get it done. So, here we go, good luck. <laughs> Hold on, Brad, stay on this side. We'll turn around. Whoa, okay. I'm on, you come right here, CJ. We're going to squeeze him in right here, and we're going to try to get him where we can get that halt on him right there. Oh, this is the very first time we ever tried this. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's just taking our time, not trying to wrestle with him too much. Whoa, buddy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now, whoa, whoop. whoop. You got him right there? Okay. And we're gonna ease this around right here. Whoa, oh, buddy. I got him right here. Now, whoa, oh, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa now, whoa. Push, that, push it up against the wall right there. Whoa, whoa, buddy, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. 
If you can see, this is the first time we ever really handled him there. We're gonna get around here and just let him calm down there just a little. So anybody don't think that we didn't done this before, this is the very first time he ever had a halt on. So we're gonna attempt to, to get him in here. Push that up against the wall, Brad, that, will, that thing, so it won't get his foot. We're gonna attempt to try to get him in here to the cross ties here and get him a haircut. Just let him calm down here. Oh, buddy. Oh. Don't try to fight him or rush him to do anything too quick. Let him just kind of get used to me and everything. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, now. Whoa, now. Whoa. Whoa, now. He's calming down pretty good. Whoa, now. Easy. Easy, now. Easy. Easy. Sometimes I learn over the years of fooling with these horses, if you take your time with them and don't fight them or something like that, they learn pretty quick. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, now. Whoa. Okay, we're going to ease, try to ease him out of this stall right here with my help by Brad there and see, can we get him out and get him down this hallway? Can we get him out? Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, just pull that tail up over the back there. So can we get him out here? Whoa, now. Oh now, just keep pulling this tail up over the back. There you go. There you go. Just keep pulling this tail up over the back. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There you go. Just get behind him there. There we go. We're going to ease him. Come through here. Easy. Come on. Pull his tail up over the back. Come on, buddy. This is the very first time he ever. Come on, buddy. 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 Oh, now. Oh, now. Oh, now. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, now. Whoa. Let's see, can we get him turned around here? Whoa. Oh, now. Whoa, whoa now. You turn him loose right there. Let him stand there for a minute and get used to everything. Whoa now. He's pretty sensible. I'm gonna try to ease him up here. Get one of these cross ties hooked up. Now he might not like this too well, but we'll see how it goes. Get behind that brad just a little bit. Just kind of walk up forward just a little bit. Whoa, that's good right there. We're gonna hook this part up right here. Just stay right there behind him, that brad. So he won't really kind of get behind him. Oh, buddy. We're gonna hook this up right here. And we're going to ease this down here. Now this is the part that might get a little tricky. And to see how this work. Because he ain't never been tied or nothing. So, but I try to keep them, curt, them cross ties real loose. So if he do go thrashing, he won't be able to Push him forward just a little bit, Brad. Just a, just a tad. Just push him just a little bit forward. Whoa, right there. Just a little bit more, buddy. Whoa. Okay. I try to keep them cross side just a little loose. And try to keep him down there. And put a little tension on this thing down because pretty much on any horse, 
if you can control his head, you can control him. But we'll sit back and let him thrash this a little bit, because I'm going to say he probably will once he realizes that he can find. Okay, just stay right there behind him right there. Just let him sit there and just, and just pull on that right there. See, if you can see where these cross ties is not tight. So if he go to bagging up, he won't wrap and flip over and everything. And just kind of pet him a little bit and, and teach him that everything will be all right. And this is the way I do it. You know, everybody got their own method of doing things, but this is the this uh, this method works good for me. So I'm not out there trying to tell anybody this is the way you got to do it. I'm just saying the way it works for me. I like to pad them, get them used to it. So far, so good. We're gonna ease over here, and I'm gonna reach over here and grab these clippers right here. And I'm gonna just take my time and try to see, to see how he reacts to him. And then ease up to him there and just kind of let him rub on him. And a lot of times I like to start up on top and then work myself way down. And like you, like you can see, these curve, these cross ties is, is loose right here. Only kind of thing you got tension on is this rope that's tied to the bottom. But see, he's gonna sit here for a minute. See, he's pulling on it. But see, he every time he pull on it, it's pulling his head down. He can't wrap, and, you know, and fall over backwards or whatever. So, whoa, buddy. Whoa now, whoa, whoa now. I like to just take my time with them and don't try to rush them and everything. And just kind of see what happens. Whoa, buddy, whoa. Well, here it go. Whoa, now. Yeah, we're going. Very first haircut. I try to teach him how to get clipped. I don't want to tranquilize him. I don't want to. Whoa. Whoa. Get on this side here. This cross tie is a little big for him. I like a little smaller cross tie, but this is what we got for right now. I like something to be just a little smaller where he can't move around so much. We're going to try to clip these ears right here and see what happens. Oh, buddy. So far, so good. Whoa, buddy. Whoa, now. Now, I hope this experience for this horse right here be a good experience for him. Something that he can carry on for the rest of his life, and you won't have to never worry about putting a twitch or anything like that on him to clip him. Like I said again, this is the very first time he's been out of the stall, had a halt on, and everything else. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. 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 Easy. And I just try to slow down and don't get in no hurry. Because fooling with these babies, you can't really 
get in a big hurry. You got to be patient. Whoa, baby. Whoa, now. Whoa. I like to sit here and put my hand over his eye right here and cut his bottom. I don't cut his eyelashes. Just... Whoa, baby. Whoa. Whoa, now. Let's take our time. Oh, now, son. And we're going over to the other side. And sometimes a horse have, and when he do that, I just kind of sit back and let him, let him just do it on his own. Don't snatch or holler, or yell at him, or anything. Just kind of teach him how to have a little patience. You know, you got to remember this coat is only four and a half months old, and for four and a half months he ain't have no a hand on him. So all this is new, very new to him. Whoop, let him sit back and let him, let him just sit there and take his time. Whoa, buddy, whoa. Well, he's doing pretty good there. I don't really have to put a lot of holding his ear too hard. I mean, he's relaxing. Oh, buddy. Oh. Make sure everything is right up here. Oh, buddy. Whoa now, whoa, whoa now, whoa now. And every time I clip, I clip away from the hair, so if he jump, I won't make a mistake and cut too much off. All righty, mm -hmm. I tell you what, <laughs> the more you do that, oh the yeah, people, people see that if you, Take your time with them. You just take your time, and you know you won't have so much of a fight. Well, I know the second time that we did nine, or you did nine eleven, it wasn't as near as the problem as it was the first, first time. time. Yeah. And the next time it'll be even easier. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you did pretty good. I learned that all from you, Jerry. I'm, I'm uh, glad. I'm glad somebody you, learned something. Being around you taught me a whole bunch. <laughs> you didn't learn that from me. I guess. <laughs> your, your daddy probably taught you that. But hey, I've always believed you. A animal will treat you the way you treat, treat them. You exactly right. All right. Have a good weekend, everybody. We'll see you again next week. Yeah. Have a safe week. <laughs>
Thank you.